All right, so you've installed WordPress and you're looking at a screen something like this and you're not sure what to do next. So I'm going to show you a few steps, um, what, I usually, what I usually do after I install a fresh WordPress blog. First, under settings, we'll just start walking through some of these options here. General, uh, of course, the name of your site, give it a tagline because this will show up in a few places. Um, maybe check this, but not, not often. Leave that unchecked. Um, and that's really all you should need to do here. You can change the date and time format if you want, but uh, make sure you get that tagline and allow them to leave this like that. Um, and save those changes. Go into writing. Uh, not a whole lot you need to change here. Uh, the one thing I usually recommend you do is enable these two boxes. Uh, what this does is allows you to use the, the very slick um, iPhone and Android app that WordPress has out, so it's able to connect to your site if you enable this. Um, that's always good to do. Next up, under reading, let's see. Um, probably nothing here. This is where later you can change it so the front page doesn't show your post. You can say, I want the front page to show the about page instead, and my post can be, you know, you build another page to hold those. Typically, though, I don't change anything here. Um, discussion, you want to spend some time um, just playing with some of the settings in here on what, what they need to do to be able to comment. Um, usually, I leave the, if anyone posts a comment, let me know. Moderation, let me know. But then I don't have it hold many for moderation. I want people to be able to comment. I put in spam filters, but uh, I don't mod pre-moderate comments because that just destroys any uh, discussion you might get going. Media, um, I don't do much here. The one thing I do sometimes is undo this crop thumbnail to exact dimensions. Um, if I'm using a Studio Press theme that uses the little thumbnails, I want them to be precise. But if it's a standard theme, I prefer not to do that so they don't get smooshed or cut off or whatever. So it depends on your theme. Typically, I leave this page alone. Uh, privacy, of course, I would like my search engine, search engine site to be visible to everyone, including search engines. Almost always have that selected. And then permalinks. And this is one, of course, is a test blog I haven't changed. But usually, what I'll do is I'll change. You can I'll do a custom one, but I'll, I'll cheat by clicking one of these first, so I can get the little credentials in here, and then just erase everything up to that first slash. So that way, instead of going to you see the examples here, mcmill.com slash test blog, blah, 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 This will just do mcmill.com slash test blog slash sample post, just without all the extra stuff in between, works well. And for these, I put in the word category, so it'll be mcmill.com slash testblog slash category slash cool stuff or whatever, and same with tags, just to make those things format better. You hit save, that'll save it on your server there. And that's the basics of that. The one other thing you should do is uh, you'll have one plugin that comes with it, it's Akismet, great spam filter. Um, activate it and it's going to ask for a key. You must enter your key to make it work. And so to do that, you have to go to their site to do that. So we go over to their site. Um, we've got to sign up. You have to create an account. And here's where it gets a little tricky. Your choices look to be $5 a month, $50 a month, or $100 a month. That's your only options. But there is a free version. Down here on a personal site, you can sign up, uh, fill in this stuff, and say how much you want to pay, and just slide it to zero. Make a little frowny face here and pay that um, how much a year. Now, I don't necessarily recommend that. They provide a great service. It costs some money to run that service, but if you're just getting started, maybe start at zero, and then later when you realize how many thousands of spams is blocked for you, you can throw them a couple bones. Um, when you do that, they'll give you the key to plug in, and you just put it in right here. It'll you know, be some crazy combination. And I usually say automatically discard after a month, too. I mean, it's, otherwise it's going to hold thousands of spams over the years. Um, and there you go. And at that point, start playing with your pages and your posts and start building the site out. I uh, hope that helps. Thanks.